Hi guys, Luke with Sounds Good Simplifying Technology. Today we're gonna to go through using the Control 4 customer facing portal to create a lighting schedule. So what we're gonna do is go to customer.control4.com and we're gonna log in using our Control 4 credentials. You should have those. If you need have any troubles, contact us and we can help you out. Uh, once this loads, we're gonna find my automation at the top of the screen. Now to use the when then feature, you need to have a Foresight subscription. If you don't have one, contact us. We can help you get that going. We're gonna select when then. When this happens, then do this. It takes a minute to prepare the experience. Sometimes it prompts you for a backup. In this case, we don't need that. So we're gonna view my automations. Now this is our showroom system. So we have many, many, many automations. But the one thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to add new automation. And then it asks you, what do you want to do? When a keypad button is tapped, when a light switch button is tapped, when a door station button is tapped, but the most common one is schedule something to happen at a fixed or repeating time. Now this shows us all of the existing uh, schedules that we have created, sunrise, sunset, something at noon, something at 7 a.m., coffee on, coffee off to automate our coffee machine. But we're gonna create a new schedule. Now we're gonna name the schedule. Now, in this case, I like to name them after the time they occur. This means that you don't end up with duplicate schedules that are happening at the same time. Our start date is today, or the second Sunday of the month, but our start date's gonna be today. What time is it gonna start? Now I call this 10 a.m. So our start time is going to be 10 o'clock a.m. Now you can have this relative sunrise and sunset, number of minutes before sunrise, 15 minutes before sunrise, and it occurs every day. In this case, we're gonna still have it happen at 10 a.m. Next, we're gonna add actions. So do you wanna send a push notification, an announcement? Do you to wanna to turn it on and off a singular light or activate a lighting scene? If it's exterior lights, chances are I've already created a lighting scene for you called exterior, front exterior or rear exterior. So you could just activate those or you can control individual lights. Which individual light do you want? Now, because our large scale systems have so many lights, this might want to be uh, organized by room. So family room, family room ceiling lights, turn on the family room ceiling light. And at 10 a.m., we're gonna turn on the family room ceiling lights. Now, are you done? We can select done. Or if you wanna continue adding lights, we can add actions. And adding action, again, we're gonna turn on or off a light, filter our room to the kitchen this time, we're gonna also turn on the island lights. So at 10 a.m., the family room ceiling lights and the kitchen island lights will turn on. And we are done. We're back to all of our automations showing everything. You can have sort by scheduled. Here's just our schedules. So that just shows your scheduled items or the description or what's happening today or automations by room. If you have further questions, you can always contact us at support at soundsgoodinc.ca. I'm Luke, I'm with Sounds Good Simplifying Technology. Stay tuned for some more fun videos.